Hello. Welcome to another video. Let's put you back, let's put you up here. Safety first, mate, innit? There you go, look, something a bit different, mate. Got a, got a lid on. Because you got to these days. For people that say they don't look cool, I'll tell you what doesn't look cool. Brain damage. The last time I was here, all the leaves were green and now they've taken on this beautiful burnt orange autumnal look about them. Absolutely stunning. I'm back. I keep losing myself to mushy hunting and uh, forgetting, that I've, forgetting that I've pressed record and left camera. This is it. A lovely little patch of hedgehogs. And more than enough for my tea or to compliment me Barnsley chop. i you these before, but... I like them like that. When they get a bit too big, here's one over there, look, just there. Hold on, wait there. This is a, a pretty, this is one of the, they don't get much bigger than this, really. That's pretty big for one, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> proper, proper unit, man. That's quite satisfying, isn't it? Hold on. Just shaving it, look. But I find when they get this big, I mean... Totally edible, which makes a right mess. When they get this big, they just take on a little bit of water. Uh, they can get a bit spongy, but still, still good eating. And you can eat all these. I, make, I reckon you could, if you've got loads of these, you can make a nice rice substitute. But anyway, I've found enough. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to keep having a look around, just not necessarily for uh, mushrooms to eat, but just mushrooms to to look at. <laughs> I just love looking at them, so I'm going to spend an hour or so just doing that. If I come across any big hitters, then I'll take them for the pan, but otherwise, I'm just happy looking. Shaven raver. Yeah, you don't want to be look. You'll have a little look. Make sure you're not pitching on any thorns or anything that could burst your airbed while you're kipping, or even just pierce the bottom of your tent. Seems to be good. Let's get a set up. Forecast a little bit of rain through the night and then all day tomorrow. So I brought my tarp just to chuck over at bike just to keep it relatively dry. And there I am. <laughs> Lovely spot. Camp mat of choice. The Uberlite. It's maybe a bit too. It is a bit fragile for woodland camping. I'll, I'll say that. Painstaking. I wish I'd brought my little electric one. I got some gear. The one. I'm loving it so far. Really enjoying it. Got my yoga mat for, <laughs> for the morning. <laughs> Just got some water. I haven't got much with me, to be honest, mate. This, I've got this beer, which is pretty... Um, I'm only having one eighth anniversary. Happy birthday, Northern Monk. So we'll have a little look at that in a bit. The digs. Trichology pillow. Uh, Thermarest Uberlite airbed. Me new prized possession. Because I helped make it. Is the Rab Neutrino. I want to say 600, so I'll say it. I think it's a 600. Also got a little rabbit that I got while I was there. It's getting nippy. That time here I've got to dress like a pumpkin, I guess. Oh, that's nice. That's nice on lugs. <laughs> that is nice on legs, legs. Leads. 
Now and then, get down here, little pumpkin head. Huh? <laughs> Young pumpkin. Well, oh, it is Halloween anyway, so, or oh, whatever. It's kind of fitting in it to be a, some sort of pumpkin, I guess. Oh, that's good, that's it. Am I comfy? That's the one. Pumpkin head. Autumnal. McHucknell. I'm tired mate, I'm tired. I've been away. Been, uh, been hiking and diving in Tenerife. Yeah, I'm in Tenerife mate and I'm lost. Which I did film it. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think it's worthy at main channel but it, there's some good bits in it and I'll be putting it on Patreon. So if you want to go and support over there and join us, please feel free to. Do you know what? Sorry about this video. <laughs> yeah. Tired. I mean, I'm loving being out. I've just been I've just been shrooming for the last couple of hours. Just meandering around woods. That's what I love doing it this time of year. It's oh, come here. It's beautiful, mate. It's so beautiful. Autumnal as fur. Oh, it's getting to the golden hour as well. I should be out filming. Like droning up, but I can't be bothered. I just want to be in the woods. Uh, so I'm going to do that. So hopefully, what content have I got here? Now, really. We've had a little look at wigwam. We'll have a look at bike anyway. We'll have a look at bike properly tomorrow. <laughs> oh, maybe it's time. Is it time for me to pack it up? Time for me to just be a landscaper. I'm still enjoying it, mate. I'm going to keep making these videos until wheels come off. But sometimes they're better than others. Or sometimes they feel like the video is not as good as other ones. And even though I'm having a real good time, my energies aren't focused on making a good film, so... Sorry. It's nice though, nice scenery. I'll maybe hopefully, I'll hopefully bring you some scenery and we'll try and get some star lapses or night... Ah, there's no... You can, yeah. It's just... Oh well. The whole crew. Well, go on. Look at that. That's how cool all the monk are look. They've got all their staff there. And all on there, all on the can to say happy anniversary. Eight years, mate. Eight years, eight years young. Lovely brewery, lovely people, excellent company. Just ethical and just a pleasure to work with. And I'm, and it's a, it's an absolute honour. It's an honour to be a, a honorary monk, which is what I am. And for people who are new to the channel, I'm not just. No, the monk just didn't come knocking and say, all right, Easy, do you want to uh, do you want to do some work with us and get on some cans and that? They didn't. I recognised how good they were. Oh, my God. And uh, pestered them, basically. Fanboyed them. And now I'm here. Oh, Jesus. That is delicious. 8.8%. Do you know what? It's 8.8% because it's the 8th birthday. Look, they've done that on purpose. 8.8%. It's the little things. Whew. Oh, that is delicious. That's hoppy, isn't it? That is hoppy. And happy anniversary, absent friends. I'm going to do a little thing now. This is going to be the content. We're going to have a little look at this bike. Take it away, future me. The SQ Voyager Pro 
has a 36 volt battery. It has a range of 60 miles. It's a mid-drive motor. The total payload capacity is 120 kilograms. It has a torque sensor, LCD screen. It weighs 23.4 kilograms. It is a pedal assist. It has nine shifter levels for your gears and a max speed of 15.5 miles per hour. And there you go. Thanks future me. And thanks for explaining all about the bike. I don't feel bad. I don't feel like, I mean, my bulb's in a good place. I'm losing some timber as well. I don't know if you remember on a few videos ago I said I've got a bit Tim Burton. Tim Burton. During lockdown and uh, as everyone has. Oh, I've got to put some weight on the lockdown, a bit of lockdown fat, yep. And uh but yeah I've lost some I lost a bit of timber mate, getting back into shape. So I'm feeling good. The only thing is I'm just a bit tired. That's why I can't be banter claws because I'm tired why are you tired I mean why are you tired because yesterday I double dropped a couple of coffees at work and I late in the day suicide mate and so I was just eyes were just pinged open all night I couldn't sleep art was going <laughs> the old jitter juice mate got me the old jitter juice took me down and I was just lying in bed like I was on like I was on Bolivia and I was just like eyes were just pinged up and couldn't sleep so I've come out today on about two or three hours kip so I'm just a bit tired. <laughs> and the thought of kipping in my tent in woods is a delightful one. And it's more delight I'm not gonna get a fire going or cook up my lamb chop. Because CBA. There you go. There you go. Don't say I don't bring you. Don't say I don't bring you entertaining, thought provoking, highbrow content. Look at that. I've used that stick to stab it into them leaves. And then in my mind, and then I've made it into some sort of like little. That's his feet, look. That's his little hand. There you go. That's the content we're here for. <laughs> nearly a, nearly a hundred thousand subscribers and there you go. And that's why. Quality content control. Anyway, I hope you're all doing okay. Lockdowns in rear view mirror in it. But I know that there's still people who are just a bit shell shocked from it. And sometimes I get a little bit like, hold on, is this it? Are we all just going to go back to how things were? And forget our mindset as when, you know, when we had rug pulled from under us and we had to reevaluate what was important in life. And um, I feel like that's, a lot of it's gone. So a lot of people, including myself, had this like existential crisis or this like or moment of clarity or worry or whatever you however you felt it was a big feeling on it it's a big feeling um and then everything just sort of got in get gone back to normal hasn't it where it depends on where you are in the world but i think there's echoes of it like shad like um yeah like echoes of what it what it did to people and how it completely just pulled the rug from under us all as to what we thought was normal or safe or whatever and that is still there and I think people are many people are just trying to paper over the cracks and be like right it's okay now because pubs are open because uh, shops are open and kids are back at school it's fine crack on get back to buying stuff Get back to adverts and all that. What can you do though? What else can you do? Be a bit more mindful, I guess. Learn from it. What did I learn from it? It was a... I learned a lot, actually. I learned a lot. A lot about self-care. An ongoing progress. Pro uh, like an ongoing... 
program <laughs> a project an ongoing project we should all be our number one priorities because without you everyone else can't be happy can they around you 8.8% I better slow down on that clobber I'll be pished anyway I'll turn this off mate I'm just going to sit and chill out and finish that later Losing me light. It's losing light in here anyway. But I've come quite far away from camp now. I'm right on the other side of there. Again, got carried away. Got carried away just looking, looking for stuff. Treasure, mainly mushrooms, open to skulls and medics. And it's exciting, it's like a little, it's like a treasure hunt. Uh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. There she be, there she blows. Ah. It's forecast to be um, very, it's, well, heavy rain from for all, all through the night and all all tomorrow, so Ugh. I don't know what crack will be tomorrow. I might cycle tomorrow and keep going until rain stops, and then do a bit more filming. Maybe cook up my um, cook up the stuff that I got my Barnsley chop and that. And we'll go and have a we'll have a cook up bushcraft cook up and a wild swim tomorrow. That's what I think I'll do. I'm absolutely knacked, mate. So. Unless some mad or trad Japans, I shall see thee on tomorrow. <laughs> Slippy, mate. I'm always keeping one eye out for mushrooms as well and taking my eye off the road a little bit. <laughs> Chanterelles. Make of this little thing like just keep you on chest mount and we'll just explore together. There's another little patch of them here. They're better. A bit wet. Fungus everywhere. I would love to find some, some seps. I really would. It would be exceptional. Hey. Just get a few, don't need loads. Yeah, look. You see the maggots in there? Oh, we can check for maggots back at home, can't we? Get a few of these little ones there, not maggoty. Right, keep my eye on, I can't stop. I can't keep my eye on track, I just keep, uh, look at the colors, man. Beautiful. And this is not a very, look, there's no footprints or bike mark prints or whatever. Do you say bike prints, bike tracks? Ah, oh, it's just stunning, mate. Whoa, tires keep slipping. 
There we go, I remember, ah no, where we are now. To stack it for you lot, nothing too serious, don't want to hurt myself or damage any, any of my gear, but just a little tumble. <laughs> nothing other handlebars are out spicy like that, just some at beige, like a little slide. Nice little mang magnolia slide to the floor. It's got some weight in it. I'm gonna take it, I think. Wash that on there. Oh no, there's a bug in there. Get out, mate. Get out. He's out. Saved him. Saved him. There we go. Just whittle them a bit. Shave them up. I'll just get the majority of these spines off. And as I've said many a time, they are they are edible. I wouldn't, you know. Especially if you're in a survival situation, mate, I'd definitely get them down here. Yeah. Well, there you go. Nice. Nice, meaty hedgehog mushroom for the pan. Another reason for getting rid of all these spines is they can harbour little critters if you're, not, if you're not into eating little critters. <laughs> Gonna hit it with a bit of a bit of tubs. Just a little bit, because I still wanna taste the mushroom. Are you having it? I'm gonna be having it. That's done. Oh. Perfect. Smells beautiful. That smoke was kicking my head in. Oh. Oh, and it's still... <coughs> oh, wait, mate. Give us a break. Just driving me out of cap. <coughs> Run. Run away. See? Are you having that? Look at that. Uh... I'm having it, mate. I'm having it. I'm still at fire look back up a little bit. There's something else I wanted to try. Ready for it, mate. Ready for it. Come on, there you are. Wild mushroom. <laughs> we all know what lamb looks like, don't we? Barnsley chop. Shout out Barnsley and chops. Can you beat it? I don't know. I honestly don't know if you can beat it. Look at that. Cooked on open fire as well. So it's got that. Oh. A smoky hit. And Tubby Tom's has got like garlic and tomato and salt and all that. Huh. 
The lamb's not very autumnal though, is it? Ow! Oh, I've not had out to eat all day either. And it's cracking on. The colours, I mean, it doesn't do it justice on here, but... The yellows and burnt oranges and greens, it's just lovely. And I'm gonna, look, it is nice, mate. I'm just going to ogle that and finish eating this. Right, look at this. A giant puffball. It's starting to turn a little bit, so... What I thought I'd try and do, make a cheese toasty out of it, or a little panned, pan pizza. And, uh, yeah, just see, how it, see what happens with it. Look at the size of it, mate. Giant puffball. Let's get tucked into it, look. It's huge, I don't know where to... Uh, is it too far gone? It's starting to go, look, you see it's going like yellow around the edges. Very marsh, marshmallowy. But, I just want like a pan-sized section. So that bit, it's starting to go a little bit there. So we'll just take these, this section. This section here. Like a... A bit like that. We'll just sort of carve our way around that yellow bit. Oh, it's yellow in the middle, mate. Ah, oh, damn. Damn it. It's starting to go, look. I'm happy with that. I can deal with that, I think. Right, I have to get the other bit from another place on it. Let's cut that in half and do a cheese on toast, a cheese toasty with it. So it'd be like that. What do you mean I can't do a cheese toasty? Watch me. It'll soak up all this gubbins as well in there. It'll be nice. How do you want to do this? You make a toasty, like that. Oh, yeah, mate. That's it, that's it, that's her. <laughs> Loving that? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. The likes of which you've never seen, look. I can't hold it up because the pan's heavy. <laughs> Soft, lad. Look at it. <laughs> Mate, how am I going to show you it? And it's, uh, look at it, it's all melted in there, look, the cheese. Huh. All cooked in that lamb. Let's have a go. The burnt cheese on the outside as well. Oh my. That is going to be hot though, isn't it? That's the problem. I've created something here, I mean, I I've created a master, masterpiece. Tomatoes, mate, once bitten, twice shy. They don't half get up. Absent friends. Ow. Mm. Whoa. Mm. So juicy. Mm. <laughs> That's genuinely better than I thought it was going to be. I just had the idea when I 
I was thinking, what can I do with puffball? And I thought, I'll make a cheese toasty out of it, and I've done it. And it's really, it's worked ever so well. The cheese on the bottom as well, that's, that has, um, way, that's gone a bit, um, you know, when the cheese goes a little bit burnt on the bottom of the pan. And it tastes delicious. Oh. Wow. Well, there you go. Cheese and tomato, puffball mushroom toasty. Oh, battery's going. I'm going to finish this and then we'll wrap it up. I've had a, <laughs> it's been amazing actually. I've not filmed, I don't think I filmed as much as I uh, could have done, but I was just <laughs> really happy to be out on the bike and camping and just just enjoying it, mate. So, it, and also it's hard to film yourself when you're on a bike, like get off or set up. I wasn't gonna be setting camera up and then whizzing by on bike and doing all that. Maybe another time, but if you, um, if you're in the market for an electric bike, I'll leave a link below. Yeah, they've left a code. I don't know what the code is. It'll be left downstairs for you. And it'll give you 50 quid off, I think. Which is pretty good. Um, full disclosure, mate. I didn't... I, I bought one of these bikes. Cause I was, I've had my eye on e-bikes thinking it'll be good to, for uh, getting deeper into the woods. And so I bought one out of my own money. Uh, for commuting in and out of town and for, for getting a bit further afield. Maybe doing a bit of bike packing. And I really enjoyed it, and then I was I, I realised that they had a mountain bike version. So I emailed them and said, oh, would you would you mind hooking me up with this mountain bike version if I do a video for you? <laughs> and they said, yeah, and that's where we are. So I feel like I can give an honest opinion on it. And my opinion is that it's, I love it. I'm not uh, savvy on electric bikes, bikes in general, mate. I know I can, I can get on it and ride a bike, but I'm not a bike guy. I don't know the intricacies of it. And uh, if it stands up to any other electric bikes, all I know is that I've really enjoyed it. I've had no problems with it. Um, I've used it quite a bit now. Uh, both bikes I've used quite a bit. And I've had no problems and I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. So if you want to get yourself one, there's a link below. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Right, thanks for watching. Much love to everyone and I'll see you soon. Bike's over there, so... It's going to be one. I ain't going to... Or shall I? Do a little bit, can I? A little bit off into the woods, not too far though, because I'll get caught up in scanning for shrooms. I'll go this way now. Love you, bye.